When it comes to team sports, kids gain more than just the expertise on how to play the game. They also benefit physically, mentally, and emotionally. But as CBS 2's Chris Raggy reports, kids are using a whole new method to be placed on new teams. The power of a 17-year-old soccer player yeah, Josh, good one. can hardly be matched by an 11 or 12-year-old. Hector Fuentes is 14. He plays for the Player Development Academy, or PDA, in New Jersey. Among other skill assessments, this club uses biobanding as a measurement of a player's physical potential and ultimately team placement. Biobanding was an initiative around youth sports that said we should be having players at the same maturity level playing against each other rather than the same chronological age. Tyler Stakowitz is the boys' academy director for PDA. We've all seen that kind of under 14 game where one player is six foot two and done with puberty, and one player is four foot eight and hasn't started puberty. Stakowitz says they use a measurement called peak height velocity, which is the ratio of sitting height to standing height, an indicator of where a child might be in their development. And there's also a subjective soccer piece. How do they compare to their peers in terms of speed, in terms of quickness, in terms of strength, in terms of agility? To keep players on an equal playing field, sometimes that means older kids have to play with groups younger than they are. And in tender teen years, this can be tough to accept initially. I was like, I kind of like got betrayed, betrayed a little bit. And, but like, as far as it went on and the more time I spent like with the younger guys, I became more of a leader. One of the things that biobanding is able to do is it ceases the attrition rates. At 14, I think the numbers are 35% of kids quit the sport that they're in. So we're trying to make sure that their experience is right. Jerry McCune, PDA executive director on the boys' side, emphasizes that the move can also mean more playing time on the field and also leads to fewer injuries. These guys are thriving, and now by the time they're 17, 18, they've caught up physically and now are having a lot of success, in, including getting scholarships. Brian Edelman and Sam Tanako are both 17 and were bio-banded when they were younger. And then it happened to me at 14. I got brought down. It was disappointing back then because uh, I wasn't doing as well back then. I started doing way better, started focusing on myself and my ability. Once I started looking at it like more positively and saying, like, this is going to be a good opportunity for me, I can lead this team now. Get it there. Love it. Sam and Brian are both holding scholarships to play soccer in college. Yeah. I would definitely tell someone like if they're getting um, presented with like the bioband option to take it as like a leadership opportunity to, to like make the most of it. Just created for me to improve and hopefully, you know, when I'm their age, I get a scholarship as well and I get to go to a great school or go pro or whatever the future has for me. And biobanding is used in selective club sports right now, but not in school athletics.